Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a Bluetooth controlled light up cauldron. This 3D printed cauldron is designed to house the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. It's got NeoPixel LEDs that animate and fade through different colors. You can change the colors of the LEDs with an iPhone using the Blue Fruit app for iOS or Android. All of the electronics are hidden underneath the cauldron, so it's a nice little portable project. The Circuit Playground Express Blue Fruit Edition features the NRF52840 and it's easy to use with Adafruit Circuit Python and Arduino. This demo uses the color picker from the Blue Fruit LE Connect app for iOS or Android. This can be controlled up to 75 feet or 23 meters away, so it's good for controlling projects over long distances. The new Circuit Playground Blue Fruit works with Circuit Python and features support for NeoPixels and the onboard sensors. You can use the Moo Python editor for debugging your code. With the built-in serial monitor, you can quickly check your code and iterate much faster. There's also lots of great project ideas and demo code. Be sure to check out the Learn Guide for documentation with photos and links. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The bowl is 3D printed in PLA filament without any support material. This design features internal threads for scrolling into the bottom half of the cauldron. You can download the files, 3D print the parts, and feel free to use our CAD files in your projects. You'll need to glue some pieces to make the bottom half of the cauldron. You can use super glue to attach these two pieces together. Use the mounting holes in the center to line up the parts. The Circuit Playground Blue Fruit PCB snap fits into this mount. Tabs on the side keep the board in place without any screws. The cover snap fits into the bottom of the bowl and it features a notch for passing the micro USB cable for power. The bowl screws into the bottom half of the cauldron and it's tightly fastened with a nice and seamless finish. On the back of the bowl, we have access to the micro USB port for power and programming. There's enough space at the bottom for a battery, but you could also power the board over USB. We're using this glow in the dark putty to create a slime that we can adorn along the rim of the cauldron. This stuff has a thick clay-like formulation, so it's not runny like regular slime, which makes it less messy. You can make it look more like it's dripping by adding little bits along the top and letting them droop over time. It almost looks like it's melted candle wax. When working with dry ice, you always want to be safe, so handle this stuff with some ice tongs. This appetizer cup holds about 2 ounces and it fits nicely inside the bowl. Be sure to use hot water in a container that has a pouring spout. I needed to be careful not to spill anything on this lovely nice backdrop. Here we're using a small amount of hot water. This lasts about a minute before the fog cuts out, so if you want to make the effect last longer, you'll need to switch out the cold water. And there you have it! That's how you can make a glowing cauldron with Bluetooth controlled NeoPixels. This was a lot of fun, you can definitely make this into a cool project. With the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit Edition, it's much easier to get into electronics. Be sure to check out the Adafruit Discord server and chat with the community. You can also join the show and tell show to win a free vinyl sticker. Big shout out to you folks sharing your projects with the community. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.